Picture this, you're on a flight, cruising 35,000 feet above the ground. Then suddenly, the sky outside turns red. Smoke fills the horizon. Or worse, you see a hurricane spinning below. You might wonder, how do planes even survive this? What really happens to flights when Mother Nature goes to war? From roaring hurricanes in the Gulf, to raging wildfires in California, tonight, we're diving into the hidden world of aviation versus natural disasters. And what pilots do when nature leaves them no room to escape? When a hurricane or wildfire hits, it's not just a weather problem, it's a logistical nightmare in the air. Airports shut down, flight paths vanish, and thousands of passengers find themselves stranded, watching their flights disappear from departure boards like ghosts. But here's what most people don't know. Even before a storm makes landfall, airlines are already racing the clock, repositioning aircraft, moving crews, and protecting billions of dollars worth of planes. Because once the winds hit 100 miles per hour, it's not just about safety. It's about survival. Now imagine you're flying over California. The view below? A sea of fire and smoke stretching for miles. Wildfires don't just destroy forests, they destroy visibility. Pilots rely on sight and instruments. But when ash clouds rise into flight paths, navigation becomes a deadly guessing game. In some cases, airports like Sacramento or Reno have to halt operations completely, because the air itself becomes toxic for both engines and humans. You can't fight fire in the air, you can only avoid it. Hurricanes are a different beast. When a Category 5 storm approaches, airlines scramble to evacuate aircraft to safer cities. But here's the twist. While commercial jets flee, a special few actually fly directly into the storm. They're called the Hurricane Hunters. Brave crews flying into the heart of chaos to collect data and save lives. Wind strong enough to tear metal. Lightning flashing inches from the cockpit. And yet, they fly on. Because the information they gather helps predict landfall and protect millions on the ground. That's not technology. That's human courage at 30,000 feet. Behind every canceled flight is a family desperate to get home. A pilot watching weather radar, making the hardest call of their career. A ground crew working through chaos, hoping to keep someone's loved ones safe. We often see flight delays as frustration. But during hurricanes and wildfires, those delays are acts of protection. Moments where lives, not schedules, come first. The next time you see a storm on the news or wildfires painting the skies orange, remember, somewhere out there, pilots, engineers, and air traffic controllers are battling the same storm. Not to escape it, but to make sure you never fly into it. Because in aviation, nature always has the final say. But humanity still writes the story. If you love uncovering the mysteries, risks, and courage behind aviation, hit that like, subscribe, and keep flying with Stealth Aviation, where every story takes flight.